there's a lot more equipment and a lot more technology and a lot more people. And um, it's, it's just a, sort of another tool that you have to deal with on set. But, um, and I guess it could be pretty daunting first time out, um, but it's not brain surgery. It's, it's actually pretty simple <laughs> and, uh, and uh, we have fun with it, you know, more than anything. I think we just, we have, you know, we're not worried about the 3D and it hasn't become sort of an issue in the shooting. It's just uh, something we have fun with and we try to do cool stuff or maybe stuff that hasn't been tried before. It's just like your eyes. You need, you know, you need two eyes to, to be able to see three dimensions. If you close one eye, you're, you know, you have no depth perception anymore. Uh, so we need two cameras. Uh, to capture sort of two points of view. And uh, that's really basically it. The technology involved in syncing up the two cameras and controlling them, the, the, the let me see. <laughs> uh, difference between, you know, the human eye, we, we have our, the, our eyes are a certain distance apart and they stay there like that. But when we're shooting a dramatic movie with two cameras, we have to be able to control the distance between the two cameras. And we also have to be able to control what they point at like that. And there's also, there's mirrors and all sorts of things. So. It's really, you, you could theoretically just nail two cameras to a two by four piece of wood and, and get 3D, but you wouldn't be able to control it like we do. So there's just a lot of technology that we have that controls the two cameras and, and in terms of how separate they are, you know, the space between them and all of that. But that's all it is, two cameras recording two different points of view and then we fuse them together and uh, you watch it with special glasses that separate the two cameras into your left and right eye.